I just moved and believe it or not, I decided to restart my smart home from scratch. Many things have been going on and you guys were wondering if I did a backup, if I wanted to start from scratch, if I was gonna keep using Home Assistant on Docker, switch to Home Assistant OS, which hardware was I gonna use, and basically all the process of moving when you have a smart home. So those questions will get their answer on dedicated videos. Because today we're having a pretty emotional moment. I'm gonna create my very first automation with this device, the Akara FP2 that everyone knows at this point. So basically right now on Home Assistant I have a few devices connected here and there, but I haven't done anything and my plan since there are a lot of things to do was to automatize one room at a time and the first automation that we're gonna do is a very basic one when there is someone in the studio turn on the lights if there is no one turn them off as you can see I didn't even have time to replace the old ceiling but we're gonna do it one step at a time create a new automation new automation trigger we're gonna add two of them oh my god the new interface is beautiful I'm running the latest home assistant uh, version and they did an amazing job uh, regarding this new automation interface really so I'm gonna select the entity the FP2 that we connect earlier it's the Honoris uh, from we're gonna leave it blank because it could be from clear unavailable or unknown so from any state to detected and it's gonna be immediate we're gonna give it a trigger ID let me present okay add another trigger which is gonna be the opposite so let's duplicate it when studio reach from changes from detected to clear and we're gonna set maybe a one minute buffer maybe I'm gonna make it shorter but we don't care all right and now add an action gonna select choose and the condition is gonna be the trigger by oh my god it's so easy now it's so great trigger by presence and action is gonna be light turn on very easy very simple and the target is gonna be the area so all of the areas that you can see here I didn't create them it was auto populated by the Philips Hue bridge I'm gonna select studio I'm not gonna set any parameter here about the light because afterwards I'm gonna have it handled automatically I'm gonna use the adaptive lightning plugin which is gonna set the correct intensity and temperature of the light depending on the sun's position to always have the best lining possible and then we're gonna add the other option which is gonna be triggered by once again clear this time and add an action light turn off and the target is gonna be the same studio hours and we can hit save new automation I highly recommend that you create categories and labels and maybe even areas on the automations that you create because on my last home assistant smart home instance I didn't have any of the automation organized but I have an excuse for that I think they didn't have this before when I started uh, running home assistant the first time so now we're gonna make it clean all right so I called my automation presence management I've added it to the studio Loris area and the category I chose present so it's gonna be very helpful when I'm gonna sort through all of the automations that we're gonna create let's hit save and it's done okay let's head out to see if everything turns off perfect now let's, let's go back in Wow, amazing. I had almost forgotten that sweet feeling. It's been almost a month and I was starting to feel a little sad without my smart room. So I'm really glad that we started over and I can't wait to show you more how things are done behind the scenes. See you soon, bye.